This is a side that almost all of us are familiar with. Our cities, our centers of commerce and growth are crumbling under an ever increasing burden. And as India grows, the need of the hour is to develop new cities and new centers for growth. Hello and welcome to our special series, Building India, where we are looking at infrastructure projects that can transform the country. Today, the spotlight is on the Delhi-Mumbai Industrial Corridor, a corridor of prosperity that will bring with it many new cities and towns and many new aspirations. It all starts from here. The small hamlet on the outskirts of Delhi is all set for its state with history. For it is from here that the ambitious Delhi-Mumbai Industrial Corridor would start and would run all the way to Mumbai, covering over 1,483 kilometers and passing through six states. It is tipped to be the biggest infrastructure project ever and claims to transform the future of the nation. But what is the essence of the project and why is it necessary? That is the first thing we asked when we caught up with Amitabh Kant, the CEO of the GMIC project. See, it's very important for India to grow at 9 to 10% uh, for a very long period, on a very sustained basis, uh, for a period of next three decades. And historically, this has been done by uh, Japan post-World War II. It was done by a very small country like Singapore, later by Korea, and recently by China. Now, if you look at all these countries, uh, the logistic costs in these countries is substantially lower than India. Uh, in India, it's as high as about 12.5% of your GDP as compared to about 6, 6.5% in Japan. There's a dedicated freight corridor project which links up Delhi to Mumbai, which is a container train which will only carry containers, which is done by, being done by the Indian Railways. It will only carry containers and this is the first container rail train which will happen in India. And both sides of this, when you do a new container train, it provides an opportunity for you to create new manufacturing cities. It provides an opportunity for you to do new urbanization. And it provides an opportunity for you to move goods far more quicker, far more faster into areas where there is consumption and into your ports for purposes of exports. So what the, De the Delhi-Mumbai Industrial Corridor is really doing is using the backbone of the 